hello guys welcome to my experience on ken tv today promises to be an exciting episode because i have one of my all oh, my very own sisters yes on the show one of my very own sisters on the show and she's going to share her experience her life uh school relationship marriage hasn't come yet but well we're waiting on that one too so let's just get into it so as you already know this is always a short discussion a short interview we'd always have so we'll just go into it and ask uh, our guest to introduce herself say something little about herself and let's just continue is it? yes dear um sika lopez by the way acquired to be on your show today oh okay sika lopez so that's like the name your mother gave you yes. sika lopez <laughs> well viewers <laughs> i know of a different name but for the show's sake i wouldn't mention it because she doesn't like us and like doesn't like me mentioning it so let's just go into it so sika lopez i almost mentioned that name sika lopez um mm -hmm. Uh, let's just start from the beginning. Where did you start schooling from and to what was the process like from primary, JHS, SHS, university? How was it? Where and when was it? Okay, so from primary to JHS, I went to school at Tema. Tema? Yes, and then from SHS, I came to Cape Coast and then University to Cape Coast. The, the names of the schools, please. Okay, so where should I start from my primary or? I think JHS, yes. Okay, so from JHS, I went to Star Basic. Star SHS, Basic. I went to Ghana National Ghana College. Ghana National College. I, now I came to UCC. You came to UCC. Of Shore, you and studied which program? Bachelor of Science, Molecular Biology and Bio. Mm, molecular. I've been fun. What I say? I've been fun. Anyway, so live on campus. You came to university mm. i think when we are talking about relationship where where did you start because some day we have some people whose relationship i said in primary school i tell you <laughs> in primary school so where did you all start okay so and let me just say when i was in jhs okay. i remember a teenager no mm -hmm. like when you're a teenager just kind of crashing on someone oh, so that one day, no yeah man. so those <laughs> crashes like it wasn't something serious so i'll just see that the serious one started somewhere after shs because when i was in SHS, i never dated okay. so after shs my SHS, you had crashes on some guys you or really crashes or your 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 on me, okay me, okay crashes. you didn't have any crash in any other school oh, not really, no. you didn't have oh, okay okay so let's say after shs mm -hmm. i think three months or four months after that was after dating dating mm -hmm. okay so how long did the relationship last and how did they end was it a heartbreak on your side or you rather give the person broken heart we must get that clear because seriously most of us women we are the one who break the guy's heart first but it always says that when you when you hear this person broke up with this person it always says that like, uh, your band on your broken heart so oh, no it depends it depends because at times guys also do give ladies broken heart oh, of course yeah. Yeah. so but on my part i'll just say that okay in my first relationship let's say the guy rather give me a broken heart okay and then in the second i would say that you we both agreed okay was a heart. mutual like, something we both agreed okay so he didn't cry ways because you both agree, you didn't cry. Yeah, who said like ladies were emotional? So, so why would you? Cry. If it's if, okay, so you both agreed to break up. Yeah. If it's painful, why don't you both agree to no, come back? It was because of the situation the and situation. Then the circumstances. Like oh, okay. it wasn't okay. It wasn't okay for us to be together. For us to be genotype or what? Oh no, not Do really. Hey, 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 see, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. What was what 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 is your most painful experience with love and relationships? Okay. What has been so your most painful? My first breakup, it didn't really end well. Mm -hmm. I was dating this guy and then he let's say I didn't I don't know how to put it though but I think you know like guys saying mm -hmm. their food they want to eat that oh, okay. kind of thing. Like, oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So Codet. Like, Codet. I didn't I didn't give it to him and then mm -hmm. I think when I came to school, so he he impregnated someone, oh. and then 
I learned that per the person's um, group, ethnic group, mm-hmm. you're supposed to get married to the person because mm-hmm. she's pregnant. So mm-hmm. I think he married a lady and then he didn't tell me anything. So after school, I went home. Me, I'm happy because I thought, oh, after school, I come to see my boyfriend, I'm happy. I was like mm-hmm. all those kind of joys and all those mm-hmm. things. So. I didn't know he didn't tell me anything but my friends were just telling me that is what he has done i didn't believe because i wanted to hear from his own mouth mm-hmm. and he didn't see anything and the one funny thing was anytime he sees me too he doesn't wear his ring okay so i didn't know but one faithful day he didn't know that i'll be going to the rehearsal he came that he didn't know i'll be also coming there so he wore the ring and then i i got to know say he's really married okay. so i called him and asked him that um hello i called him by his name i said ah so your man and i didn't tell him is like and i'll be having yeah, people saying it so what should he do like i was so hurt i was so pissed i didn't know what to do i felt like the whole world has come to an end for me like it was really emotional mm-hmm. like i cried i was so hurt like so hurt i didn't know what to do but i had to move on so mm-hmm. it wasn't easy moving on because I, I loved him let me say I really did cause mm. our our kind of relationship wasn't um I had to say a dog a cross a cock a cross, that kind of thing okay. so like I say we move we group those kind mm. of things uh-huh. so so it was, vibe it was simple and, and yeah. then he is kind of he, he jokes for me to love that kind of thing uh huh and tonight i said when i'm with you i'm always happy that kind mm. of thing and you felt so, like you, you know he going you didn't actually meet someone who would make you happy as he not did really because i be human beings there so you can't really tell then why were you crying if you knew I you would actually meet someone I was really hurt, like that he I lied didn't to know you that like all this well i thought say maybe if obibe cheat here yeah, then it would be me because i'm the one who is in school and okay. all those things so i thought say, if someone would cheat then it should be rather me you know him mm-hmm. and i didn't expect something like that from him say so he would do that to me so i was so hurt and one annoying thing is that so now he even calls me talk and then he even wants me to be his second wife like hey so oh, yeah, Leo. <laughs> really? That's it. Hey, at this age, who, who uh, well, uh, he's not even a billionaire, you know, like the net in workers and all of that. You know, I'm like, no, you can't do that. You don't do that here. So let's just move into after breakup. The main purpose of this is to actually briefly align how to actually get over a heartbreak. It differs, you know, strategy and however yeah. you, it differs because. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't use myself, but, but you know, some people actually move on from a, a heartbreak by moving on with someone else. But it works yes, for some not. people. It works yes. for some people. Some too is by being in the company of friends, and you know, that's. Mm-hmm. And but some too actually feel like or block, you know, Instagram everywhere. I know man I come at here. Mm-hmm. But you know, some of us you we will we will block and unblock you again, <laughs> you know. That's it. So like how did you get over it? You know, how did you get over okay, the hat? So for starters like me, I would say that it wasn't easy. Like, it was easy. very painful, but okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh it just, it, it just happened. Would you say no. time heals like done the yeah, time he was but it depends on you the individual mm-hmm. how like the whole situation happened and then how healthy you are mm-hmm. so with me i would say that it wasn't easy one the the main thing about heartbreak is that when someone breaks your heart hey, if you don't learn to forgive them you okay. can't move on because yeah. you should know that maturity comes in as in the deed has already been done you want to move on and then you are still thinking about the past you are still cling you are still clinging, clinging on that kind of pain you have to set yourself free and then to do that you have to forgive, forgive that's one main thing because if you don't learn to forgive someone and then anything they do will like i don't know you'll be irritated yeah. so one main thing is for you to forgive them and then try to move on and then after you forgiving them you now focus on yourself. Yourself, yourself as in maybe you try to reflect. 
if the blame is from you or from him mm -hmm. maybe you did something that he didn't like but he wasn't able to open, open up, up and then see it so you just analyze yourself reevaluate yourself what did you do wrong is the fault from me is it from him but as you are doing all these things don't feel bad because we are human yeah because sometimes you know yeah, it happens that we kind of blame ourselves for something things happening for some people living our lives because you feel like i could have done this right i could have done but you know the actual thing is you could have communicated it that person could have also communicated but it but we should know that communication is very very difficult it's difficult as in imagine you are with a partner and then they don't really want to open up to you mm -hmm. and then you are the one who is always doing that communication okay. thing it will be like some people even feel like Oh, casa, oh, casa do, too that much. kind of thing yeah. so you also feel like it's best to just keep some things to yourself. yourself if you can handle them emotionally then it's okay yeah. but if you can't then that's when you have to communicate that is it yeah. so and then the third point to you just have to try and then in one painful thing about you leaving someone is you start to think about their memories yeah some course. good memories and then some yeah. bad ones but one thing you should know is that when you when you sit down and then you don't know like let's say unknowingly mm -hmm. those memories start coming mm -hmm. just just embrace them be grateful because even though they are bad memories maybe the good ones might be more than the bad ones mm -hmm. so just enjoy them and moment. that's 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 what really hurts when the good moments were more than the bad ones but someone said that when you feel like going back just think about how <laughs> horrible he is or how but horrible she is then just if you think about those horrible things he said he did then you start hitting him small then mm -hmm, that's like way hatred is oh no 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 <laughs> me i will hate you like not hate you like hate you like on a hatred level but it would just be like we be on your mind for you at your side. We don't want to issue, you know. but like just know that because you've sagged your mind, you want to move on. Mm -hmm. It's a process. You have to start from somewhere because you've sagged your mind, you want to forgive him and then move on. Let me give an example. So like you break up with this person, but I say, ni ni ni, like wa kofra kia fufu. And I say, you meet them in town, and I say, wa kuma ya wia. See, one thing, you can just actually imagine some of his weaknesses you know i said i call it crap like some of his weaknesses that you feel like i said we cried him um yeah. if free high and if, if that's to me you know because if i imagine it's like oh girl we want your trophy you know then i feel like oh I'm, i've not really lost anything big biasa that's me because if i imagine you to be that perfect guy good guy and you know be imagine the things you could be actually be doing for the lady then i'll start hurting deep down and be wishing that you know it also bad, bad, bad for the other I, I don't want that so maybe i'll just imagine you to be a bad person okay it yeah. depends on it depends on you though but it's just best if you learn to that's why i said forgiveness mm -hmm. if if you forgive somebody no matter what they do to you you try to move on because it's a process as i say ways to heal mm. it's a process you can't just get up one day and say i'm healed to you you are healed mm -hmm. but to those pains you are feeling those chest pains and all those things mm -hmm. they are not healed mm. so you need a process because yeah. do you know that thing uh, you can let's say you're in a relationship with someone and then you break up they they heartbreak that you go to might be different when you enter a different relationship and then yeah. you get another heartbreak yeah, of course so, you can never get used to broken yes. hearts i always so, say that you can never get used to it you feel like oh many are breaking hearts waiting to me they meet me no. the next person would you do something different the whole thing. and it would be a new pain altogether so yeah. sika lopez is telling us that first of all you must forgive the person and forgive yourself it's very important and secondly and uh, time here so the first one is forgiving yourself forgiving that mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. and secondly also giving it time it's painful waiting is the most difficult thing to do and patience patience is what we most of us lack if we had patience so many things work out for us so give it time uh forgive yourself forgive the other person and just let time cry as much as you want but just don't cry yeah. too much you know because at the end someday you just realize that a crown and a big do be as i say and then so. one last two, two last things i want to last things okay 
when when you break up with someone don't be in a rush to enter into a new one because it's mostly not advisable yeah maybe going into a new one with someone you are doing that because the main reason is to forget about your ex but mind you that you are not really healed it could be that you might commit the same mistakes that you are doing yeah because you are human yeah but if you rather take sit down take time analyze yourself correct all those mistakes you might not repeat them again yeah. and then the last thing i'll also add is that when when you are grieving like when you get a broken heart mm -hmm. it's best that you find you get to know yourself you find a new source of joy for yourself as in all the things that you weren't doing you now start to do them as in you find yourself maybe what makes you happy mm -hmm. as a human being as a mm -hmm. person what do you do that will make you happy apart from being with someone maybe when you were with your guy he did things that made you happy and then you were fulfilled but he not being there as you yourself what can you also do to make yourself happy that is one main important thing you should know mm -hmm. and then one yeah, but, thing yeah, but that's so okay. is that we shouldn't let's say go back to certain things that we used to do because let's say you used to go to certain places with your guy and then because you guys have broken up you think you want to do something to help him no if you do that it will rather lessen your process of healing it's healing. not good to do that okay. yeah it's not it's not advisable this it has been a very you know i've learned a lot you know i've actually learned a lot because uh, i've had a change of mind that i wouldn't imagine him to be a boy <laughs> uh -huh. so um so this has been my experience on kenti with sika lopez friend was show you soon as shadakim as shadakim and when he comes back i would reveal it and you all know that sika lopez is just a nickname mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks very much do you have any other remarks before we just end the show okay so one last thing i would like to say is that um, we don't expect to get broken hearts even though it's it's a natural process we can't we can't say we don't want to have it but yes so one thing you should know is that then when you're going into a relationship you shouldn't have expectation let's say you feel that oh this person is bad but because you are going into a relationship with a person you can change, change him, him. It might happen that you will change him along the line and then it might happen that he might not change, change at, all. at all but don't have expectations that maybe he is rich so i'm going to spend his money and then that's what you want to win, yeah, don't actually. have expectations and then one thing too is that one person said that don't feel alone when you're not with someone maybe because you are not dating anybody you feel alone no you have to find your values your worth you have to find yourself to be more important mm -hmm. and then not feel that because you are lonely you have to like change now being a no 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 you have to get to know yourself find your values find your worth you are more important yeah and then getting to know your self-confidence also helps mm -hmm. and then one more important thing is when you are broken hearted don't feel bad but going through all those process it makes you grow to grow. become a better person exactly it always helps us to grow it always helps us to grow we we he, she, she will not cry over certain things she used to cry some years Never. back so it's just part of the quote so thank you for joining nasica lopez and thank you for also subscribing liking and you know adding your comments on the other comment section see you on the next episode